Uh, yeah. Uh, family, y'all. Just keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. Uh. This lesson now <clears throat> has been extremely historical. We started with the Hebrew scriptures, the Old Testament, if you will. We came up through the ages, through the time of Christ, and we looked at the New Testament. So now we're going to carry the history forward to the present day. What's happened with baptism over the last 2,000 years? <clears throat> so we start first with the early church. After Christ and Paul, after the New Testament time, you know, after this time is no longer here, what's going to happen in the early church with respect to baptism? We, the earliest detailed description that we have of baptism comes from a, a book that we call the, the Apostolic Tradition of Hippolytus. And in this Apostolic Tradition of Hippolytus, it gives ma many details on how they used to celebrate baptisms. You know, that the, all the people would go out, down under the tree by the river. It's sort of like he was explaining how it is that baptisms happened in his place. And so the Christian initiation rite in his writings included baptism, you were baptized, an anointing by a presbyter, or priest we call them now, so you were anointed. There was the laying on of hands with Episcopal consignation, simply meaning that someone laid hands on you as a sign of your receiving the Spirit, which is essentially what happens in confirmation today. And you received your first communion. Whoa! Think about this for a moment. So this earliest detailed description of what the early church did with respect to the sacraments of initiation, there was only one sacrament of initiation. Mm. How many sacraments of initiation did we say that we'd cover in this course? Three, baptism and confirmation and the Eucharist. How many sacraments of initiation were there in the early church? One. They all happened in the same day in the same ceremony. You were baptized, washed, you were sealed with the Spirit and had the laying on of hands, confirmation. You received your first communion the same day. So how interesting that, for instance, in the Western Church, in the Roman Church, we broke all of these up so that you were baptized one day, and then come back to us in eight years, and we'll give you your first communion. And then come back to us when you're, after you've done two years of classes and 40 hours of community <laughs> service and all of this, and when you're 16 years old, and we'll get the last one. Was that the early church? Would the early church have been had envisioned it like that? That was. If you sat down with someone in the early church, sit, sit down with Hippolytus today, and say, yeah, let me tell you how we're celebrating uh, sacraments here in the Roman Catholic Church in the United States. Hippolytus would likely scratch his head and say, you're doing what? <laughs> we did all of that in the same ceremony on the same day, regardless of your age, whether you were old or young or an infant. If you were an infant, you received your first communion on that day. You were welcomed in the community, you were a full member, you received the Spirit, you received your first communion. And for less. <laughs> and for less money. <laughs> I don't know, I have to ask apologists <laughs> what types of stipends you have. I mean, how, how fascinating that in churches today, I mean, one could take a look at, at what's happened today and almost be very facetious in that respect, you know? is what's happening today driven by other factors like keeping people in church, right? Why else would you have people come two years of instruction for First Communion, then two years for Confirmation? For what reason would you do that? I mean, obviously it's for other reasons than for what the early church was doing in its practices. Hippolytus is also interesting because it was this ceremony was inclusive of everyone. Who do we say that we are at Holy Family Catholic Church? We are a, an inclusive and compassionate community. Inclusive. We don't say anyone. Right. What was happening in Hippolytus' day? All were welcome. Men and women, old and young. I mean, no one was excluded. All were included in this ritual. It wasn't this, oh, wait a minute, you haven't done your two years of classes yet. Come back when you finish your classes. No. I mean, it was, it was inclusive of everyone. 